Hey everyone, and welcome back to Kerbal Space Program RP0. We are rejoining the crew of the Artemis 4. It's just uh, made its transition into Mars SOI. Make sure I turned off the time warp. I did. And uh, make sure our course is still looking good. It is. We are currently on a collision course, which is awesome, because we're going to separate our B upper stage, which uh, should be this little guy down here. I don't think I can get in there to click on that manually. So we're just going to have to rely on the staging menu. So, uh, spacebar. Yes. That's awesome. Oh, I should have separated the other way because we need to travel in that direction to make ourselves not be on a collision course. Oh, good. <laughs> that was, that was dumb. Yeah. I wonder how much force we imparted on that thing, or if I can maneuver around it. We should have a much more balanced RCS now. Uh, RCS is armed. Uh, which way is Mars in relation to us? I just had it. Okay, so if I translate, uh, just give it a couple quick taps down. Why are these thrusters not firing? Their fuel should be open. Yep, it's not. Let's rectify that. There we go. Good, good. We have solid fire on all thrusters. We should just need a quick tap, but I'd like to get this uh, adjustment done sooner rather than later, so it'll cost us a whole lot less, I suppose. It's only five meters per second, but still, it's probably more than enough to send us careening back into that uh, empty uh, upper stage that we're using as a uh, wreck area. Some zero-g handball. Something like that. I don't know. All right. We gotta get a move on here. But of course, once we're clear of the B upper stage, and had I done this while thinking about it, probably would have gone a whole lot smoother. We'll just uh, push ourselves to the other side, and then uh, correct our inclination again. Yeah, our periaps is currently negative 40 kilometers or so. So uh, that thing's going to pile into the surface. We're going to clean up our messes. That's excellent. And then uh, hopefully arrow capture very cleanly into the atmosphere. Although I really kind of want to know what our tonnage is. So let's uh, bring up vessel info. Currently about 80 ton. No, that's we are currently 108 tons. That's our max acceleration. And not very good either. That, that's to be expected. We have this big clunky heavy heat shield attached to us. We can get rid of that. And then uh, start to correct this. There we go. We are firing on the node now. So I'm going to switch out the map view, make sure we can do this accurately. Uh, we do really need a uh, very low periapsis into Mars's atmosphere if we have any hope of uh, performing this capture maneuver just on the force of air alone. And uh, Mars is pretty rarefied, so it's going to be interesting. All right, there's a periapsis. Yeah, we totally do need to adjust that inclination. We got it down where our approach is about a degree and a half, which is a lot better than any of the other approaches to Mars I think we've ever had. But uh, yeah, 18 kilometers is a little low. There's about a 10 kilometer disparity for the most part, between this readout and the actual where the dirt starts. But uh, I think for something this extraordinarily heavy, um, I mean, 42 kilometer periapsis will arrow capture about uh, 15 to 25 tons. We're probably going to need to come in somewhere around 30. Oops, I hit the M key. I can watch it over here on my periapsis screen. 30, 32, I guess, is what we're going to shoot for. Oh, how about 34? RCS off. That should do it. Uh, and now the nerve-wracking stuff begins. We won't even have an hour, though, before our supply module will show up uh, directly behind us. What is... Oh, man. There's our descending node way back there. It's only 1.5 degree... Uh, for our rendezvous with Harmonia Station, which is thankfully still here, has not disappeared on us again. But uh, there's that correction, so we will F5. 
just to make sure nothing absolutely stupid happens. But uh, one of our other Mars-bound craft is uh, about to also make its transition into Mars SOI, and we're going to have to go adjust its course if we have uh, any hope of uh, saving it also. I'm going to assume that just went ahead and happened, and we'll just let the alarm clock save us, because I think we're well more than an hour off from here, aren't we? Yeah, we got like 16 hours. Yep, there it is. Resupply Charlie. Uh, we will delete on close and jump to ship. All right, close alarm. Here's our resupply pod, Charlie. Uh, let's... Do we even have a maneuver node set up for you? I don't know if we do, but uh, let's go ahead and get you in the SOI. There we go. Uh, I probably should have set Mars as the target first, but... Uh, our periapsis is 124 kilometer. That's a bit high. Let's see if we can't. Yeah, we go. Focus view on Mars. Excellent. And inclination 2 degree. That is not bad. So let's just uh, add a maneuver node. We're just going to use this as a reference point. Try to bring you into something that's aero capturable. 4.5 meters per second. RCS is on. I bet you our fuel is locked, though, because signal delay. We do have a solid connection, though. That's good. And only about 830 meters per second of uh, available delta V from our AJ-10. Which is, in fact, armed. We, oh, yeah, I guess we have utilized this engine before. So we're just going to go ahead and we're going to do this on RCS. It's a very small correction. I, know, I guess our thrust to weight ratio is pretty abysmal. So, well, no, it's falling pretty quick. We're way far out. So, uh, yeah, I really wanted this to show up first because I believe it's tonnage is very similar. Let's just double check vessel info. Now, this is only 80 tons, so we can actually come in a little higher. For right now, let's put it at uh, 30. No, 30 kilometers is really low. Let's go for 38 kilometers. And we'll just lock the fuel, leave the RCS armed. Let's go delete our node, and we're just going to set up a dummy node that should give us enough time to react and do a bunch of other things. So, Kerbal Alarm Clock, add alarm, uh, 18 hours, 1 minute, add. There we go. And in two days, our lander will show up. That's good news. You can go away, Kerbal Alarm Clock. Now I need to just uh, find our spacecraft again. Uh, All right, we found him. Thank goodness. <laughs> Let's jump out to our map view. Let's rotate around. We need to uh, select Mars as our focal point, and we need to see what kind of braking we need to have here. Add maneuver. That's a nine hours. Oh boy, this boat's well. All right. Yeah, it's only six kilometers a second, and that puts us in a uh, very elliptical orbit. It gives us a good chance to adjust our ascending node. If we were to shoot for optimized, ah, uh, come on. This would be somewhat near optimal. Brings us low enough. That's uh, 6.7 kilometers per second. I think that's very doable. And that is in nine hours. How long until Charlie? Ten hours. Oh, good. That's just good. <laughs> it's going to be close, but I think we can handle this. So we're going to take a quick save. All right. And, oh, actually, I think we can write it in a bit closer before we start moving our resources around, but uh, this is it. This is the big show. All right. 
one hour to go. Paragraphs is still 34 kilometers. We need to adjust our center mass. Uh, okay, so we can transfer some food, water, and oxygen around. Man, we have a lot of water. Yeah, lock these. And those after filling them. That's just fuel. Oh no, that tank has nothing. That's, that is no good. Well, that's locked. How about you? All right, and that's fuel. Lock that open. Let's transfer from our rearmost tank. You can go away. Dang it. Out, out. All right, and let's jettison waste products to get our mass down just a little bit. Uh, crew science, food, water, oxygen, carbon dioxide. Dump, 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 dump. Perfect. Waste. That's all we got, really. Yep, okay. This window. Oh boy. Quick save. Lots of quick saving, just in case the game goes wonky on me. And uh, let's start to fold this thing up. Retract. All the crew is moved back into the uh, command pod. We should have plenty of electric charge. Deactivate. Deflate. Deflate. What's our electric charge looking like anyway? Uh, topped off. Yeah, we're good. Tracked. 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 Retract. All right. And uh, we are in re-entry mode. RCS to arm. Now, we're going to save doing this maneuver until we get a whole lot closer, because I don't want to throw off this uh, periap. Since there's Mars. Glowing ball of dust. Fingers crossed, everybody. Here we go. Whoa. We are extra, extra close here. Wow, that how is that not a flyby? Look at this. This is it, we are really really close to Phobos. We could spit on Phobos. But yeah, totally not an encounter. But okay. Whatever works for you. Well, let's get one without the mouse pointer. That's really cool. Be neat if I can get them all in the same shot, but I guess not. Thank you, Phobos. Taking a uh, glorious appearance here. Very nice of you. Okay, back to paying attention to Mars. Uh, how long do we have? 15 minutes until we need to uh, make our capture maneuver. Let's get ourselves facing to prograde, which is likely in the down kind of direction. And then we'll start to make other corrections as necessary. Man, I hope this works. Alright, hang on tight, everyone. I'm just going to take a uh, quick save. Okay. Any second now. 
There we go. All right, and a quick jump out onto the uh, map view. And just to uh, verify everything here, looks pretty good. All right, oh. Oh, do you see our speed? 9.6 kilometers per second? Oh boy. Um, one, I think we need to come in a lot lower than 34 kilometers. There's just no way that's going to stop a 100 ton object in this super rare atmosphere. And two, maybe we should burn to slow down a bit. So, oh, overcorrecting. Yeah, I'm coming at this a little fast. Slow down, slow down. All right, let's light up our service propulsion engine. Um, 2.3 kilometers per second in the tank, of course, take like half an hour to burn through all that. I think this engine is rated for like 36 minutes or something. Alright, well, we're gonna speed up a bunch of this because uh, I just basically laid on the throttle the entire way down to Mars, figuring uh, every little bit that we could bleed off now would uh, do us a huge favor um, in our capture. Uh, I did not realize how bloody bloody fast we were coming in. Uh, I guess we did take the quick route, which was only like 140 some odd days to get here or so. 151 days, according there to the top left corner. But um, I don't know. We could have taken a much more leisurely route to Mars uh, and been a lot closer to Mars's velocity. Anyway, we need to uh, pump a little fuel forward. That's what I was just doing there and uh, make sure that the fuel tank at the bottom of the HAB module has some stuff in it because that's the only way those thrusters actuate. And then it's just a gentle balancing act between uh, burning retrograde and just uh, a little above it so that we can push our uh, periapsis down or up. <laughs> you kind of have to dance around it a little bit. Uh, you find this magic spot where uh, it'll hold stable at a current given perigee. We're also going to start collecting science so that we can start doing things the very second we arrive at uh, Harmonia Station. So we've already collected some uh, space high and space low, I believe. Uh, just crew reports, nothing fantastic, but hey, look at that. Uh, space low over Mars's lowlands we did not have. So we radioed one in and we instantly took another one to uh, bring back to the lab so that we can have some data to work with. Uh, we'll also, I'm going to try to do this uh, in the atmosphere. But uh, back into real time footage now, I will turn you over to old me who is uh, panicky. All right, we need to get this flipped around to prograde very, very quickly. Um, 360 kilometers radar altitude, 350 something actual, and we're going to pump uh, as much fuel forward as possible. That's a, a weird stutter. Auto saving, I guess. All right. And uh, current periapsis is set to 25.5 kilometers. Uh, give or take, we are coming in above the lowlands, so the difference between radar altitude and Actual altitude probably won't be that bad, but just because I am terrified, I'm also going to lay on the thrusters. A whole bunch, actually. Alright. So, I uh, should probably figure out which one of these capsules doesn't have a report taken from it. I think we should be good. Uh, we're going to try to grab some uh, high atmo and maybe some flying at science, provided, of course... Nothing goes absolutely wonky. Um, best we can do is just hope. But uh, we're going to be in the atmosphere in just a couple of seconds, so this is, this is like now or never. Will our heat shield hold? Will the HAB deal with the stresses? Will the engine bell stay out of the plume of plasma and fire? Will everyone survive? Man, I really hope so. This is only the second time we've sent a crew to Mars, so it still makes me very, very nervous. Mars is not quite the backyard that the moon is. All right, let's get ready to take this crew report. Upper atmosphere, we'll stow that one away. Apparently we had that already. Uh, fine, no big deal. I imagine Armstrong got that one the uh, last time he was here at the Mars. And then magically we cross the 100-kilometer barrier and our clouds disappear. Well, that heat shield is really starting to warm up now. That's, you can see it kind of glowing there. Yeah, I'm 
totally just going to lay on these thrusters. We still have 6.1 kilometers per second to bleed. Should probably get one of these crew report things ready. Looks like our top one is full. How about you? Review report. Yep, there's that one's ready to go. So let's tuck this off to the side. Oh, I think we just lost an antenna. Okay, I'm just going to put this here and leave the mouse alone. And there, flying low or flying over Mars. Oh, we don't have this one either. Let's uh, run it once, transmit it home, keep it again. Good thing we have uh, default comms connection with Earth. Oh, that is really pretty, isn't it? Okay, we're gonna... Yeah, that's a great shot. Let's get one without the mouse pointer. How about that? That is really cool. And, you know, we've made it into this part and nothing is threatening to blow up. We don't have that fiery effect around stuff. Hear me, baby, hold together. Sorry, I was just... I thought it'd be a nice time to catch a kind of a cinematic something or other. Uh, that shaking makes me very nervous. Come on, rotate the camera. Rotate the camera. Uh, yeah, it's still six kilometers per second, 6.4-ish, really. But hey, at least they have a nice view of the ground that they're going to pile into. All right, uh, altimeter looks like it's going up. We're still focused in there down to 5.9 kilometers per second. Uh, that is very pretty. Uh, yeah, we are very much going up. Oh, man. This, that was dumb. I should have left this stuff open. I could have been paying attention. We're going to lay on the thrusters some more. Only uh, 1.9 kilometers per second left to bleed. Current altitude, 26 kilometers. Uh, 5.3 kilometers per second across the ground. Oh, no. Come on. Capture, capture, capture. Please, please, please. Oh, that stuttering really gets to me. Oh, come on. 1,600 meters per second left to bleed. Yeah, 34 kilometers actual. We're coming out of the thick of it. I don't think that we're going to hit those numbers today, folks. We are not captured at Mars. All right. Well, uh, we need to get to an appropriate altitude get rid of this heat shield. It is uh, officially useless now, and also lots of dead weight. No big deal. Uh, 45 kilometers, 46 kilometers actual. Uh, 54 by the radar. We are still slowing down, just uh, not very well. I'm just going to keep pouring fuel through these thrusters. I know it doesn't do much, but it does do something. I mean, like it has to. It's a force. Newton something something. Why not? All right, 64 kilometers radar. Oh, man, we didn't use uh, nearly a third of this heat shield. All right, let's get ready to jettison this thing. Once we're facing retrograde, it should ullage our engine for us because we've still got some atmosphere doing some braking. Oh, come on. Wrong button, too. There we go. That's a good light. All right, it, it's 1.4 kilometers per second, I think, to put us in a rather ideal orbit. So hopefully we'll get something out of this, get an assist from some of these thrusters. There's a couple more somethings. All right, let's just uh, transfer the fuel back into here. Oh, that was quite a shift of mass, upper atmosphere. Mars lowlands. Oh, good. All right, well, we'll just speed through a bunch of this because there really just wasn't a whole lot going on. We'll get our solar panels uh, popped back out. We There's our camera rotation for capture. We're just going to lower our apoapsis a uh, whole bunch, and I'll turn you back over to old me. All right, that is it. We are in orbit. Yes, we have arrived at Mars. Let's uh, go ahead and get this... Uh, Habitat module reinflated. I'm sure after like a day of being crammed in that little capsule, they would like to uh, move back into the hab for a little while. 
Oh, wow. That is just awesome. We're going to get a couple of those. Wow. Welcome to Mars, you three. Good work. I'm sorry I couldn't have planned it a little better. All right. And of course, time for resource management. Yay. All right. We'll just uh, push some of this into this forward tank. We need some authority from those thrusters, especially when it comes time for docking. There should be some locked fuel still in those HAB module things. They do do something. These are all, yeah, food, water, oxygen. We'll go ahead and open these up. We're going to be in orbit for a while. Uh, I would really not like it if they uh, ran out of fuel or something. All right, so this is our current course. We go way the hell out there. 1.9 degrees off from Harmonia Station. We should probably correct for that. Add maneuver. Uh, okay, I need to get a much better view here. Be nice if I could actually see Harmonia's orbit to help correct for some of this stuff. Okay. Yeah. Nope. Oh, other way. My bad. All right. Well, all right. Come on. Uh, that, that looks pretty good. 7.3 meters per second in 18 hours. That's not too bad, I suppose. Oh, man. Yeah, four days until we get to our uh, apoapsis. So we'll just uh, we'll set that note there. We need to just get ourselves to be not at 18 kilometers periapsis. Not quite at 168 either. Uh, you know, 70 something is about where we want to be. Because then we can arrow break a bit. It's 96. Yeah, 76. Yeah, that'll work. Okay then. No, you know. Not that bad, in all honesty. Uh, I, yeah, our supply module Charlie is like uh, just a few hours behind us. Let's turn this on. Oh, come on, really? You're just, you're not going to... I don't get to see that thing, huh? Yeah, it's not debris either. I, we're bouncing a signal off of it. The least you could do is just let me click on the dumb thing. Uh, that's... That's fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. Well, I mean, all right, good. All that stuff is unlocked. These guys are going to be fine for the next couple of days. Oh, yeah, Kerbal Alarm Clock. Let's uh, jump over to Harmonia Resupply Charlie. All right, well, here we are with our resupply module, and it is, uh, whoa. Okay, they're, they're, whew. Thought we lost Mars. Anyway, we need to uh, set up some commands here in Flight Computer. Uh, do do. Okay, where are we? All right, so we will be at our periapsis in one hour, eight minutes. So first thing we're going to do is program our boot sequence. We're going to set that for two hours. That should be well more than enough. We will uh, activate this antenna. And, and I really hope this one status off, no target. Dang it. All right, let's do this first. I should have done this before we left Earth, but it's a good thing that we have solid contact. So, all right. Uh, target. Earth. There we go. And in two hours, you will activate. All right, now, based on what we learned from uh, getting the RD4 in orbit, uh, we are one hour and seven minutes away, so we'll just set our signal delay here for one hour. Uh, you can deactivate this and retract these panels. We should still be out of the atmosphere. Retract. Uh, if we get a double retract command, that's not the worst thing in the world. I hope that's all of them. And... Deactivate this comm. All right, now this should be completely full. Yeah, we'll just lock those. They're not going to go anywhere, but, you know, whatever. We've got about 800 meters per second of fuel left in this tank. RCS is armed, so we don't need to worry about that. We just need to take a quick save. And, oh, yeah, our periapsis. We should probably adjust our periapsis. 40 kilometers is going to be way, way, way too high. 
So let's uh, open this and uh, get, where's Mars? Just so I can have a point of reference. Nope. Yeah, we need to uh, face radially in and make some corrections. We need to get this a lot lower. We are 80 some odd tons of stuff that needs to stop only on rarefied Martian air. And I think we can do this. We should be almost far enough out to correct this only on thrusters. So here goes. OK, but it's actually going to be a lot quicker and uh, more efficient to do this with our AJ-10. Ooh, that might be too low. Well, now, RD4 is in a very, very eccentric orbit, so that might just be about right. Okay, we're going to wait until we're a little closer in before we point ourselves prograde. So, uh, here we go. All right, there's our shutdown command, so... Nope, wrong way. Oh, the absolute wrongest of ways. It was the correct way before. No, it was not the correct way before. Oh, man, I am a mess today. Dude, what am I doing? Prograde is going to be down. Yeah, good thing we've got like seven minutes to screw with. All right, good. All four solar panels are retracted. Safely stowed. Comms equipment is stowed. We actually still have contact, thanks to all of our space junk. Thank you, space junk. Now all we have to do is hope that it stays pointing prograde. There's a quick camera change. All right. I don't know where you're trying to re-angle yourself, but uh, we're going to put a stop to that right quick. Yes, delete on close. That's our this craft's maneuver node. Very nice view of the canyons. It'd be really cool if we could land near those. It does cross our orbital track, so it is a possibility. I'm just I don't know about these targeted landing things. Alright, we are atmospheric. Alright, so we're going to use our flight computer to hold, tell it to hold prograde. There's the cloud disappearing. And uh, we are still picking up speed. That's pretty normal. I was at a blader, didn't going to do. Yep, I'm starting to rack up some charred bladers. So this should get real good real fast. So I've just sped all this up because we literally just watched this happen. It was just uh, too soon for me to justifiably make it its own episode. But uh, for this, we just pointed straight at the prograde. There we are pegging out to uh, about 9.75 G or so uh, before we actually start to slow down. I think I may have uh, actually undershot this one a little bit. I'm not going to ruin it for you, but uh, we are currently at 23, 24 kilometers actual. We have just captured into orbit and are continuing to slow down. So this is actually a almost ideal capture maneuver. Um, it actually could have been a little bit higher for, you know, safety's sake. I was really scared it was going to deorbit. Anyway, here's old me. Oh boy. Uh, we might be a little low. Uh, current altitude is 36 kilometers actual. We have a 1 million meter apogee and a very negative perigee. So we're, we need to see if we can get uh, clear of this atmosphere before we get slammed into it. This would be a very large problem. 
46 kilometers. Uh, can we elegen our engine? Not by firing the thrusters. That way we can't. All right, what kind of ISP are we seeing from these? 312, so they should almost be at full thrust. Uh, 42 kilometers actual altitude. This is still air brake territory. Current speed, 3.4 kilometers per second. Uh, apogee, or apoapsis altitude, 680 meters, or kilometers. 680 kilometers. Come on, ullage, ullage, ullage. Let's go, let's go. Yeah, we're still slowing down too much. We can't overcome it with just thrusters to try to stabilize our fuel and save this into an orbit. Um, I think we might be okay. Our apoapsis isn't falling very quickly, and we are... We're getting out of the densest part of the atmosphere. Unstable. It's not very unstable, so we're having some effect here. We do have infinite ignition, so let's uh, maybe give it a tap. Nope. Nope. Okay. We'll just uh, we'll just hold on the thrusters here. Yeah, we're uh, we're up to 55 kilometers actual, 61, 62 kilometers radar. Oh, this is close. Oh boy. Please don't deorbit us now. 65 radar, 59 actual. We should be coming into the territory where the thrusters might do something soon. Actually, we can uh, we can spin this around. We don't need this heat shield anymore. Not bad. All right, and jettison. No connection to send command on. Oh, why didn't I had no way of knowing. All right, well. If uh, we can centrifuge this engine around, I think we're clear. Our apogee, apoapsis, yeah, 482 kilometers. We are at 76 kilometers, 77 kilometers radar, 71 actual. Oh no, I think we got stuck facing retrograde. <laughs> of course we did. And uh, no connection for which to jettison our heat shield. Where are we? There's Port Artie. Which, oh, I forgot to reactivate the comms on the Artemis. That would have helped. Oh, man, Harmonia Station is almost right above us. Dang. <laughs> Dang, Gina. All right. Whoa, what are you doing here, buddy? Engine's looking good. Nope, and now it's off. Still too much drag. Uh, we'll be out of the atmosphere soon. I think this is clear. I think uh, I think we're looking pretty good. Yeah, that rate of loss on our apoapsis isn't doing much. We're going to go ahead and lock these fuels so we're not just burning this stuff off all nimbly-pimbly. And uh, physics warp ourselves into space. I think that was pretty solid. Good job, supply thing. And we are in space. That's awesome. All right, I'm going to set us up a node at our apoapsis. That isn't ours. That has to be our target. That's us. Add maneuver. And let's uh, not pile into Mars. And instead, yeah, we'll just uh, we'll get ourselves loosely aligned here. It's 216. And what kind of correction are we looking at for that? 68.9 meters per second in 32 minutes. I'm sure we'll have a connection by then. I really hope we'll have a connection by then. I would like to get these solar panels off and this heat shield uh, out of the way. There we go. Connection established. First step, jettison heat shield. Oh, signal delay. You're killing me here, man. Jettison heat shield. <laughs> Extend. Extend. Nodes in nine minutes. Oh, so 
Uh, Jettison Heat Shield will come in six minutes. That's an excellent save. Let's go ahead and open up our fuels and get pointed around to that. Now, actually, we're going to stay pointed radially, radially because I do not want this heat shield in our path when it comes time for it to separate. And here it goes. Dunk. Excellent. Heat shield's away. Yeah, I should probably have turned that off a while ago. Engine is alledged. Uh, nodes in three minutes says the burn's going to take two, so we don't need to necessarily be uh, perfectly accurate. But we do need to let our solar panels deploy. Really? We only got two of them? Three of them. Okay. My mistake. Extend. Excellent. All right. Well, let's just uh, get us a little closer to this node. Ullage, ullage, ullage. Ignition. I right. very much like to not be suborbital. So, just a uh, quick light of this engine. It, it's a pretty small burn. Anyway, but uh, we sped it all up because I've gotten entirely too carried away with this episode and... Uh, We'll actually just have to get to the docking of this thing, the adjusting of RD4's orbit, the capture of the lander, and all, hopefully not all, but at least some of these things in the next episode. So until then, uh, thanks for hanging out, everybody. I really appreciate it, and I'll see you in the next one. So until then, see you later.